will learn about uh, radial interception. Let's say this is your climbing phase, mm. and uh, this is uh, your heading 249. Let me take a heading off. Okay. I'll go for a heading off. Let's say 300. Okay. Now your heading is 300, but what is the radial? I am on a radial of 250. You see the tail of the uh, viewer needle is your radial. And here is my airport. You can see my airport, Charlie Galfa. I am 4.6 nautical mile out. So actually, I'm going out. That's why I am following the tail, right? So let's say I will level off at uh, 10,000 feet and uh, then I will try to intercept the radial. So let's say the ATC tells you to intercept of radial uh, 280. Okay. So if you want to intercept the radial 280, where is 280? This is 280. And you need to put your RMI needle, uh, the, the tail of your RMI to be 280. So in flying, what we do generally, you see, I have my CDI. This green color is my CDI and this is my deviation indicator, right? I can change it. This is VR2 and this is GPS. So let's take it as VR1. So what I'll do, I'll change my CDI course. Okay. I'll change my CDI course to uh, what radial? Let's say I follow radial 290. I have to put my radial 290. Now you see, my, I put my course 290. This is my course. If I go out on this, I will be able to fly 290. Now this is my D bar indication. Now D bar showing to the right. That means I will have to fly right. Now what heading I will fly right? From this 280, I will add up 30 degree more so 290 310 so if i follow a heading of 310 that's a 310 i can intercept but if i need to quickly intercept there is a thumb roll if i just put my heading over the d bar according to this d bar and i follow this heading i'll be able to intercept but as i'm very close i will give a lesser correction mostly i need to give a 30 de degree intercept but uh, i am giving a 10 to 15 degree gradual correction to intercept the radial okay so radial intercept is very easy uh, in your instrument flying if you face any problem when you go for flying uh, mostly in the cockpit you get confused about radial interception uh, because you have to handle many things. You have to fly the aircraft. You have to, you know, check the power, check the attitude, check everything. Uh, so that is why then flying an IFR is quite difficult because you don't have much time uh, and much fly, uh, flying hours. So it is very uh, important to practice this or to know this before you go for your sortie. Now you see as we are coming back, coming towards so I'm I gradually turn left and I intercept on a radial 290 now you see I am flying on a radial 290 because my D bar is completely aligned um, if I follow autopilot uh, in the nav mode viewer mode and I put autopilot it will fly just fly uh, like this okay it will follow this uh, radial so very easy. Let's say I am going out now. Let's say ATC tells you, okay, what is your position?
Okay. Sometimes it get confused. Okay, now let's say Aetisitis, what is your position? Now in your position report, you will have to give your radial and distance. So you will say I am on a radial of two, rightly, presently two nine zero, the tail. I'm on a radial of two nine zero and my distance is fifteen DME. Okay, fifteen point two DM. Now let's say ATC gives you to intercept a different radial. Okay. He can say intercept radial 290 and report 30 miles out. That is also possible. Okay. So intercept radial 210. So first I'll go for the CDI course. This is my CDI course. I'll go for the ready uh, course. I'll set my course to 210 because I don't have time to write. Okay. So I'll set the course 210 and I'll see. Where is my debug? My debug is to the left. So I will have to fly a heading between my debug and the course heading in between somewhere 30 degree inter uh, intercept like this. So I will fly a heading of let's say this is south 180. I will fly let's say this 160. So let's put my heading to once you uh, start okay 1000 to go. One six zero heading. I'll fly this heading, but by the time I'll have to level up. Okay, so I'll nose down and I'll level off at flight level two hundred. Right. Here in Garmin one thousand, there are many things that is limited. Only I can show you this uh, basic. Uh, operations so I level up a 280 and maybe I will reduce my speed little bit so there is a power lever yeah so let's keep a speed of around 130 so you see I will have to fly I'm flying the heading 165. I can go a little bit more left. Let's fly 150 to intercept radial to 10. As I'll fly more, this, uh, you know, needle, tail of the needle will gradually come like this 240 to 10. So 20,000 feet. So I'll put. Alt. Okay, now it will follow the alt altitude as twenty thousand. Now, if I want to make more corrections, and I want to intercept more quickly. I'll follow the heading 90 degree so that I can, you know, uh, intercept the radial quickly, more quickly. So to make cut short, I will uh, cut short the, this portion in the video so that it will save you time. I mean, with increasing the speed, 
so that we can cover more quickly but don't bust your speed limit in actual aircraft You can see the RMI is gradually moving and it is coming closer. So when it comes to 210, when the tail comes to 210, that will be my uh, radial of 210 to fly. I will then, you know, give my heading to collection and this debug will come in between. We will see. And you see my... DMA is decreasing, that means I am going closer to the VOR. Okay, now I'll try to reduce my speed because I already exceeded a limit. I'll make it set of 130. And you see now D-word is alive. So I will gradually turn right. You will have to, in your flying school, you will have to, you know, fly this manually. Yeah. Course. Ah. Uh. Sorry, course two one zero. Yes, two one zero heading, and I can intercept the radial if I go to the if I change go to the VOR and put the autopilot. Okay, so I'll intercept the radial. So to intercept the radial, I'll choose the source as VOR and intercept autopilot. 